Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm going to be showing you a new feature of SOLIDWORKS 2014, which is our ability to add rotation to our exploded views. So here we're looking at a two-stage gearbox with a number of gears, hardware, and fasteners. And I want to create an exploded view that will show the removal of this back housing. I already have an exploded view created to show you what we'll be creating. So let me animate this exploded view. And you can see that we're actually threading out each of these fasteners we'll remove this top back housing and flip it over to show how the bearings can be removed. So I want to replicate this but with a couple differences. So I'll create a new exploded view and select my fasteners. Now in the other exploded view I removed these one by one but here I want to remove all of these simultaneously but still show the rotation. We can accomplish that by checking the checkbox to rotate about each component origin. So this will make the fasteners rotate about themselves rather than some other point in space. And if you're not seeing your rotation controls, make sure that you have the auto space components after drag checkbox unchecked, because that will disable the rotation controls when it's enabled. So here I'll just drag my fasteners up, and that'll create a new exploded step for us. We can go back and add in the rotation that we want, which I'll set to 3600 degrees or 10 rotations. Then I'll click done so we can see how this looks. So we can see our fasteners spinning and going down into our holes, but they're going the wrong direction. And I may not want them to rotate all the way down. I'd really want them to just unthread on the threaded length of the bolt and then pull out straight. So we can modify our exploded view to reflect that. So I'm going to edit my exploded step and change my length to the threaded length of my bolt and reverse that rotation direction. Now I want to add a second exploded step that's just pulling out straight but you'll notice if I select all four bolts and go to manipulate them with the triad, SOLIDWORKS will assume I want to edit the existing explode step. So in order to get around that, I'll control Z, and we can just enter the value we're looking for for our translation over here into the property manager, and that will force a new step to be created. So now you can see I have my explode step two, which is only translation and not rotation. Now I want to remove my back housing along with the bearings. And you'll notice that as I select components, the last component I selected is what my triad is being based off of. So if I don't want to have to reposition my triad, I want to make sure the last thing I'm selecting is what will give me the triad controls I want. So I dragged out my back plate with the bearings, and now I want to move it off to the side, and because it's a new direction, SOLIDWORKS will automatically create a new step for us. And then I want to rotate this back housing 180 degrees to show how the bearings are pressed in. And in order to do that, I want to uncheck this checkbox to rotate about each component origin because I want all of these to rotate together. And then I'll select my rotation ring that I want to rotate about and set my angle to 180 degrees. And we just want to make sure we're clearing out our distance so we're not adding any translation to this. Now I can show exactly how my bearings will be pressed in. Let's go ahead and animate this end result to see how it looks. So you can see that very quickly we are able to add rotation to our exploded views using the new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2014. Thank you for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel.